Hi everybody, so this is Safira and welcome to my channel. I hope and pray that you all are doing good and taking care of yourselves and cooking what I what I keep putting and posting into this channel. Surely you know what I'm going to talk to you or, or do today. And uh, this is calamari and they also called squids. And I'm going to make a butter garlic squid today for everybody. And you all are going to lick your fingers and enjoy them thoroughly. I have with me about uh, 7 to 8 big squids which I have already cleaned the skins, washed them really well and now I am going to cut them into rings and then apply a little bit of salt and begin with the recipe. Now to prepare this recipe and to get that real good taste which everybody longs for when they go to a seafood restaurant. And this is exactly what I'm going to do and I'm going to bring it to your homes. So for this I've taken about 100 grams of butter, a handful of big garlic cloves. It, the more the garlic the better it is so don't worry about how much cloves that you need to put but add in a be generous with your cloves. A little bit of milk that is half cup of milk. corn flour about 2 tablespoons and of course my green chilies you can use as much as you want depending upon how spicy you would like it to be so now I am going to cut these into rings I have now cut the squid into uh, rings which you can see I already applied salt for them and now I am going to begin with the recipe I also cut the chilies stylishly uh, into fine slices and, um, and the garlic and this, and the, I chop them like slices, fine slices too. I have now added uh, 50 grams of butter into the pot and I am going to quickly fry the squids without any water on high flame so that they get cooked because they get cooked very fast and you cannot overcook them because they get hard so I'm going to quickly fry them on high flame I will not allow the water to come out of these because I just want to crispy fry them quickly and then remove them and then start with my other preparation you can see there's some water coming out so I kept it on full flame so that they get cooked faster and get dried never add water into this let it cook it in its own juices and keep it on high flame because we want the water to get dried as soon as possible so exactly it took me about 10 minutes now and I think in another 3 minutes the water should dry. The water is dried so I am removing them and keeping them down in another plate. And in the same pot I am going to start with the preparation. This is how it looks so I have kept them separate. And now I am going to begin with the garlic uh, butter seasoning. I have now added the 50 grams butter into the pot and I'm uh, making it hot and then I'll be adding in the garlic waiting for the butter to melt and now it's time to add the garlic this is so aromatic I already can feel the taste of these lovely calamaris, the squids. I'm going to fry them for some time so that the rawness goes and it leaves its own beautiful aroma. And then we're going to add the green peppers, the green chilies. They're not too hot, they're not spicy, but it gives a beautiful color to the squids. I love the greens mixed with white. So 
After this, I'll be adding in the green chilies. And now it's time to add the green chilies. Again, there's a lovely flavor with these greens. I'm just going to blow the heat so that it cooks on low heat. I don't want it to getting burnt because I like the white to remain white, the green to remain green. So now I'm going to add in the squids. Look at the colors, so beautiful and so appetizing. Giving you a good stir to mix with all the different flavors of the garlic and chilies. I'm going to now get the heat a little high because I didn't want to burn the garlic, that's why I made it low. My aroma has gone to all the neighborhood. It is so good. Everybody keeps coming and asking me, what are you doing? What are you cooking today? And I love that. I love that because that there are people who can actually get the aroma of my kitchen going out. Just for the heck of it, I'm just adding a little bit of paprika. That also gives a color and it really looks so good. I like doing my own things and it really turns out good by the way. Now it's time for me to add the corn flour into the milk and mix it and pour it into the preparation. I have mixed the corn flour and the milk really well. This is how it looks and I'm going to pour it into the pot. So here we go. I'm going to make the flame a little high. And I'm going to mix this together. Now this will make the whole thing so creamy and cheesy and buttery and will be really tasty. So here we go. The garlic, butter, calamari, squids are ready to serve. They are so yummy, full of aroma. And you are going to just celebrate life when, with your family and everyone whenever you cook this preparation of mine, this recipe, share it and do subscribe to my channel so that everybody enjoys what I'm cooking. It is so easy. I just try my best to make it really easy for all of you because I know that you all are following me and love my recipes and I'm so thankful to that. So please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you friends thank you for watching and god bless you stay happy stay blessed and lots and lots of love